Welcome back. Live visuals of uh, the oath-taking ceremony, which will begin any time now. Guests have started arriving on the stage already. Our Union Home Minister, Amit Shah, you have Union Ministers, uh, Nitin Gadkari, J.P. Nadda, uh, and NDA constituents, allies, uh, Chirag Paswan, Anupriya Patel, Ramdas Athabale. We just saw the Maharashtra CM Eknath Shinde also walk in. And then you have the star power, Rajnikan, Chiranjeevi on the stage as well, family members of uh, Pavan Kalyan. Any time now, we'll start getting visuals of the leaders arriving themselves and that of the Prime Minister arriving as well at the venue for the oath-taking ceremony. JVC Sriram and Tushar Gupta are also with us on the broadcast. Uh, JVC Sriram, very quickly, you know, the question that I was asking you earlier about the equations changing. In fact, uh, uh, we will also play out the visuals of when uh, Prime Minister was elected the leader of the coalition and he sat right next to uh, Chandrababu Naidu, Nitish Kumar, called uh, Pavan Kumar, Andi, and today... Uh, we see the ND constituents in a show of strength, like Tushar Gupta said, present at the oath taking ceremony of Chandrababu Naidu. See, I think the question which you asked for, uh, I think what happened was, I think he made the special status issue into a kind of a prestige. And uh, it was being attacked by Jagan. He had to uh, succumb to the political pressure. But we also knew pretty well what was the consequence because TDP was reduced to just 23 seats and uh, Ch uh, YSR Jagan won a you know, huge mandate. So he knew pretty well that in order to come back to power, he knew pretty well that he had to correct this mistake. In fact, right from 2021 onwards, we have heard in the media that Mr. Naidu had made you know, efforts and overtunes to the NDA uh, government that he wants to come back. And it took a lot of time. It took almost three years for him to come back. But the talks are always on because he knew pretty well that uh, being a part of UPA or now what is called as India Alliance is not going to bring any kind of benefit to the state of Andhra Pradesh because he knew pretty well that Mr. Modi is coming back to power and he wanted to be on the right side. And people of Andhra Pradesh, you know, see, people of Andhra Pradesh may not have a great liking for Mr. Narendra Modi. I'm being very frank. But at the same time, they voted for Chandra Babu Naidu because NDA was part of the alliance in Andhra Pradesh. And they knew pretty well that Mr. Modi is coming back to power. And Andhra Pradesh needs development. The capital is no more there because Hyderabad ceased to be a capital by June 1st, 2024. As a result of which, they had to come back to NDA to ensure that the development of Andhra Pradesh takes place. And that is a primary thing. And that is what Mr. Pavan Kalyan also ensured that to happen. And when they all came together, you saw the kind of mandate. Hmm. And because today, YS Jagan is not even a recognized leader of the opposition in the Andhra Pradesh Assembly. So the writing was clear on the wall. In fact, in December 2023, hmm. when I visited Andhra Pradesh, I had told your executive editor, Padmaja Joshi, yes. one of the ETG surveys, that Andhra is going towards Chandra Babu Naidu and right. YS Jagan is not coming back to power because there is a lot of urban apathy mm. which mm. is there and i think you know i've been proved right on that absolutely stay on with us jvc sriram and tushar gupta from being uh, reduced uh, in the state of andhra pradesh uh, to today getting this massive mandate of the people uh, not just in the assembly elections but also uh, in the lok sabha elections of the state of andhra pradesh let's take a look at the political journey of chandra babu naidu in this report <laughs> Never write off a politician. The story of Chandrababu Naidu's incredible comeback in Andhra Pradesh will go down in India's contemporary political history as one with many significant lessons. NDA Abhirtika Mukhyamantriga Nan Nimpiki Jaisena NDA MLA Landarni Peru Peruna Manaspurtiga Abhirandisu Five years after being swept out of power by Jagan Mohan Reddy-led YSRCP, Chandra Babu Naidu is said to be sworn in as the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh for a fourth time. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will attend his oath-taking ceremony. I, Kinjarapu Ram Mohan Naidu. His young MP, Ram Mohan Naidu, has taken over the reins of the all-important Civil Aviation Ministry. It won't be wrong to say that the 74-year-old politician is back on the top of his game and is also emerging an important player in the national landscape. 
हम सब के अंदर केंद्र बिंदु में है गरीब का कल्याण केंद्रस्थ रहा है लेस देन एट मंथ्स अगो वेन नायडू वेंट टू जेल इट लुक लाइक ही एंड इज पार्टी वर डाउन एंड आउट प्रोस्पेक्ट वर लुकिंग ब्लीक फॉर द सीनियर पॉलिटिशियन But on the 4th of June riding high on anti incumbency not only did he send his arch rival Jagan Mohan Reddy packing by winning 136 out of the 144 seats in the Andhra Pradesh assembly elections his party with Pawan Kalyan's Janasena and BJP as allies also wrested majority of the Lok Sabha seats in the state Ain nalgi per nalgi per jail lo chusana ain పాపం భువనేశ్వర్ గారి బాధను చూశాను నేను అనుకున్నాను అమ్మ మీరు కన్నీళ్లు పెట్టుకున్నాయి మంచి రోజులు వస్తాయని చెప్పిన మంచి రోజులు వచ్చినాయి సంజయ్ గాంధీ డ్యూరింగ్ ది ఎమర్జెన్సీ హిస్ మ్యారేజ్ టు ఎన్ టి రామారావు డాటర్ భువనేశ్వరి బ్రాట్ హిమ్ టు ద తెలుగు దేశం పార్టీ At 45, when he became Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, he served two terms till 2004. Brand Naidu then became synonymous with good governance, economic reforms and development. In 2003, he survived a brutal bomb attack by Maoist terrorists near Tirupati. In his 46-year-long political journey, his relationship with the NDA has seen many highlights. In 1999 he supported NDA at the center. In 2004 he suffered a setback in the state polls only to return as chief minister of Andhra Pradesh in 2014 after its bifurcation. In 2014 Naidu then joined the NDA government at the center but 4 years later in 2018 he pulled out over the special status demand. From being written off to emerging triumphant like never before all eyes will be on Chandrababu Naidu as he gets set for his new innings both at the state and in national politics Bureau report Times Now Well it's almost time for the oath taking ceremony uh, in Andhra Pradesh we'll cut live to the visuals for the moment a quick break <laughs> 